Cases of RSV are on the rise in the U.S. Children's hospitals are overwhelmed in many places as the virus spreads at unusually high levels. Now, officials are worrying, worrying right now uh, and working on an RSV vaccine to combat the rapid infection rate. It comes as officials are also monitoring a possible triple-demic RSV, COVID, and the flu this fall. Joining us now is Dr. Juanita Mora, a national volunteer medical spokesperson at the American Lung Association. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure to discuss such an important topic. Absolutely. And you know, some doctors saying they've just never seen a level of surge like this before. What is causing this massive spike in RSV? Well, usually 100% of kids will have had RSV by age two. But what's going on over the last two years, kids have been masked and they've been doing virtual schooling. So we have a whole new class of naive kids who have never seen RSV who are getting infected, plus those that are getting reinfected, which I think is causing such a big surge, plus the lifting of all the restrictions that we're having and them going back to normal activities, such as school, daycares, and you know, really all the normal life activities. Absolutely, and I know the symptoms can often be treated at home, but when should parents take their children to the hospital when it comes to RSV? Sure, things that I'm teaching parents. One, any signs or symptoms of trouble breathing, any shallow breathing, cough that doesn't get any better, that's keeping kids up at night and their chest is moving up and down because they're having difficulty actually taking a good deep breath. That's a sign to go to the emergency department or any signs of dehydration. When a child is not eating as much, not drinking as much, especially in babies, parents are not seeing the same number of wet diapers that they normally have. This is a sign to also go to the emergency department. Do you think the bigger problem here when we're hearing about the, the shortage of beds is the, the sheer number of cases or is it the nurse and potentially the doctor shortage as well in this country? Well, I think it's a mix. I really do. I think, one, we're seeing a huge increment of RSV cases, and we're about to head into winter. Indoor, less ventilation, more propagation of viruses like COVID-19, influenza wave that's just coming right our way as well to plus RSV. And then we have a shortage of healthcare workers that have been wiped out by COVID-19, and now they're also getting infected with influenza and RSV, so it's a mix of everything. So this is why it's so important to teach parents when to take them so we free up some beds as well. Right, and Dr. Fauci, hopeful a vaccine for RSV could be available within the next year or two. Is that timeline realistic or even potentially helpful since that surge is happening right now? Sure, I think the main thing to teach parents now is universal precautions, right? And yes, we're hopeful for the vaccine, but right now at this time, it's universal precautions, teaching kids to wash their hands. If a child is sick, I tell parents, keep the little germs at home, meaning don't send them to school, don't send them to daycare, don't let them visit grandparents, et cetera, because we wanna make sure to keep everyone else safe. Um, also learning the signs and symptoms of when to take to the ER versus the pediatrician. And first thing I always tell parents, do a COVID-19 test at home, which is so easy to do at the first sign of cold because a lot of these symptoms present the same flu, COVID-19 and RSV initially, and then they kind of declare themselves. Right, and, and doctor, then, I'm, I'm and, sorry, one more thing because we're, we're in our last few seconds and I wanna make sure we ask you, coming up, trick or treating right around the corner. Lots of cute little hands reaching into bowls, communal bowls full of candy and picking out the Kit Kats and Twixes first. What is the advice ahead of trick or treating coming up across our country? <laughs> sure. Again, if a child is sick, don't send them out trick-or-treating to washing hands, washing yeah. hands, sanitizing before grabbing candy and after grabbing candy, universal precautions so we keep everyone safe because you're right, they're all going to be trick-or-treating together. I like this plan. So COVID test before we, you go out the door and maybe a little sanitizer pump right before they, they pick it out of the, <laughs> out of the bowl. Uh, we're going to have to, do you know what, if at least there's trick-or-treating this year, Dr. Mora. We've been inside for a long time. Dr. Juanita Mora, uh, appreciate your time. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.